So today I went to my doctor's appointment and it went really well. Um, I wasn't feeling that great, but I was really anxious to talk to her about my migraines because I've had more migraines in the past month than I have in the past two years. So I was getting a little bit panicky um, because I want something to help with it. Um, so I got to talk to her about that and I don't actually remember the medication that she's going to give me that I'm going to try. Um, but it's good to know that there are some things that I can try because I have tried quite a few. So um, in the end we talked about my pain management a bit um, and just then I just got to chat with her a lot which for me makes me feel a lot better just because um, well, A, she's just really fun to talk to, and I just, this is why I try to tell people with chronic pain or chronic illness to find a doctor that they really connect with, because first of all, we're at the doctors a whole heck of a lot, but mostly, um, you just want to be able to feel comfortable talking to them, and she really treats me as a peer, and I look to her because I just trust her emphatically, and, um, I've been going to her for so many years too that like I, I know that she's knowledgeable and that she still um, researches quite a bit but also has a lot of knowledge um, so she has like both ends and I just think she's amazing but um, I can't imagine even my team of doctors without her because I kind of run everything by her um, even in like my psychiatric care or um, like my, the chiropractor I see or physical therapy or anything like that I kind of run by like what I'm doing and she'll give me advice or say that sounds great or I heard that doctor's good or whatever so I just feel like you really should not hate your doctor and just um not feel good when you leave the doctor like I don't necessarily always know exactly what she's giving me and what it's for but I trust that she's looking out for my best interest and that I can be completely honest with her and let her know what things are doing to me what they're not doing for me and she will give me her best advice and I know that I can take that for the most honest truth and knowledgeable as well so I don't know it just always hurts my heart a little bit when I hear people talking about that the they don't like their doctor and I'm just like go somewhere else or go to somebody else in the practice like you would not believe just in her practice how different the other doctors are than she is and I think that's kind of cool because what might not work for me might work for somebody else because my dad actually goes to someone else in the practice and he's like an army doctor like he doesn't really do much research and other new stuff if you don't say anything's wrong he just kind of is like okay well see you later then and um he's just like real old school and doesn't do a lot of research and new stuff my dad loves that like they just talk like army and navy stuff like the whole time that they're in there but um but for me that's like uh i don't like seeing him at all even if i have to see him like on for an emergency if i'm really sick i'm like i don't like you but um and then there's another girl that's like real black and white cut and dry like and I'm very sensitive so that would not work out for me and um so it's just you know so like you just because you are a doctor and they don't take it personally like everybody's like well I don't want them to hate me and I'm like it's not a person it's not, not a personal thing like as a doctor if you are not happy with their service they would much rather you go to someone else like that's just the truth um so yeah, like your doctor and ask people. I ask, like, anytime someone's raving about a doctor, I'm like, where do you go? I mean, like, I love my doctors and I still ask because I never know down the line. I've had doctors up and move and I've had to find new ones. So I always ask people who they see or if I'm referring to a friend or something. And I'm like, hmm, maybe they wouldn't like my doctor. Like, maybe they wouldn't like her personality which is like never happened with my doctor that I'm talking about right now, but like some of my other doctors, maybe not so much. Um, so, 
But if, yeah, so I always ask, like, especially, like, with chiropractors, and, like, things that are really hard to find and are very, like, personal. Because, like, chiropractors can go from, like, people that just, like, lay hands, like, above you, like, don't even touch your body to, like, full manipulations. Like, I've had someone, like, actually, like, flip me up onto my neck and then, like, crack my back this way. Which was really frightening. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, it can range. So, I, like, if someone really likes somebody like that, then, you know, if they're like, I really like when they really work my body a lot, I'm like, mm, you probably won't like my chiropractor that much then. Or if someone's like, I don't want them to touch me at all or do any physical manipulations with me, I'm like, mm, still not going to like my chiropractor because I'm, like, right in the middle. So, um... Yeah, so that was my day. I'm feeling pretty positive because I'm just starting to get through some of these um, appointments. I have two next week, so, but at least some of them are getting done and I'm excited. So, all right, well, I'm sending out X double O's. I hope everyone is having a pain free, stress free day. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!